Okay. Oh my God. Are we ready? I wasn't even ready for this outfit, to be honest. So you know, those are the things that I brought from Kenya. And of course, I brought um, a couple of kgs on me, but I'm not complaining. If I was given an option, maybe I wouldn't go to work, to be honest. Someone has to pay the bills. I don't have anyone to pay my bills, so I guess I'll have to go to work. Hello, how do you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile in the park. How could they say I was broken? They say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken? So at least I'm happy my bed is made My, my room is tidy And we can proceed on to the next agenda of the day so how are you good people how is everyone doing oh my god i think this is the first video of 2024 of course i know i have the mombasa vlog but i did that when i was in kenya and i haven't even uploaded that video i think i'm gonna upload next week i haven't finished editing it but you know what i'm back in australia like i never left Oh my god i am back like i never left i don't know what to feel to be honest because i've been gone for too long i never knew this day was gonna come i've been gone for like three months almost three months it's almost march now two days too much i think one day because uh today is thursday tomorrow is gonna be fast yeah and here we are we're back I don't know what to feel. I really don't know what to feel. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be sad. And my arm is getting tired. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be sad. I'm supposed to be happy. I just don't know. I just don't know to be honest. But um, you know, I'm grateful for the experiences. And I realize I don't even introduce myself. My name is Marcy for those who are new. Um, I was born and brought up in Kenya, but I live in Australia. I've been here for like uh, six six years or more and uh, I've been loving the experiences, you know, the experiences of migrating to a new country, you know, the experiences of um, making this place home, you know, even my home, like my apartment. Of course, when I came back here, I felt like, oh, this is home. Kenya is home, but this is home as well. So, and that is my story. I'm a Kenyan born and bred moved in australia and i call this place home so anyway i came with so many goodies from kenya i'm gonna show you my i'm gonna show you the goodies the goodies i brought from kenya yeah so that is what i'm gonna do and then i'm getting ready to go back to work oh my god today is thursday i'm gonna be going back to work on on when is it on Saturday? No, on Saturday. So I only have today and tomorrow. And you know, when you go back to Kenya, to Kenya, I've added a bit of weight. So I'm not too sure whether my uniform is gonna be fitting. <laughs> I'm not too sure. So I wanna make sure that I can still fit in my uniform. I've been eating all the Kenyan delicacies, yummy food. I've just been eating. Let me not lie. Let me just let me just not lie. I've just been eating. You realize I didn't even vlog much when I was back home because I was trying to live to be in the moment. I was just, how do you call it? I was just soaking in in the moment. I spent so much time with my family. So all I was doing is just eat. And I think I'm one size or two size bigger now. Two sizes bigger now. But it's all good. It's all good. I'm not complaining. So I have to make sure that my uniform is still fitting me. My work uniform and also i have to get my sleeping pattern right because you you all realize that kenya is behind five hours so the sleeping pattern and everything but so far so good so far so good i'm happy thank you for watching my content thank you for tuning in 
I'm grateful. Let me show you the Kenyan goodies. All the goodies that came up, that came with, actually not so much to be honest, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, oh my God, are we ready? I wasn't even ready for this outfit, to be honest. I wasn't ready. I just realized I wasn't ready. Cause I think this is my first time I'm wearing this outfit together, like the top and the shorts. <sighs> A moment of silence for how cute. How beautiful this outfit is. Where are we going this 2024? Because just look at this. I'm gonna fix the camera. Hmm? Look at this. The zip is gonna the zip is giving me a headache. So I didn't zip up up to the top. But I will. <sighs> tell me you don't like this combo. Tell me you don't like this outfit. Just tell me you don't like it. Tell me you don't like it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And that's how it looks on the back. Only than the zipper. The zipper, the zipper is giving me just a, a little bit of headache. I think it's stuck somewhere and for now I don't have time to keep to work on it at this point. But this is it. This is it. Just imagine the zipper is all the way up to the top there. But how cute. Oh my god. I am so, so obsessed. If you want to invite me somewhere, this is, gonna, this is what I'm going to be wearing. This is what I'm gonna be wearing, and I am ready. Oh my god, my tailor, she did a, she did a fantastic job. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. I think this is one of my favorite, to be honest. And of course, you can wear the top with jeans, like that. Wow, I am obsessed. And you know what? These jeans are from Kenya too. I got these jeans from Kenya. If you live in Australia, and you have calves, and you're curvy. And you have African calves. My friend, you're gonna suffer looking for jeans. You're gonna suffer. I'm not even kidding, to be honest. Like, it's so, so hard to find a perfect... I don't know whether I'm gonna say perfect. It's so hard to find perfect jeans in Australia for curvy girls in Australia. That is my experience. I don't know about your experience, but I struggle so much to find, uh, you know, perfect or beautiful or perfect jeans that are gonna fit my African African body. Anyway, what else was I gonna say? So anyway, when I went to Kenya, the first thing I was gonna get are jeans for curly girls. Because of course, you know the market there and the market here is different. And this is the next top that I got from Kenya. Oh my God, I am so, so obsessed. I'm not even kidding. And you can see the detail, like the zipper can go all the way down. Like I can open the zipper, you know, and uh, and I love the, the puffy, puffy arms. And this also is from the same tailor as well, you know? Like my tailor, she did such a fantastic job. I just wanna go back and get so many items from her. And like I said, I gave her the, the inspiration from Pinterest. And this is what she did. She did an amazing job. And these jeans are, are from Kenya too. I got these jeans from Kenya. Because I told you, if you live in Australia and you have calves, you're going to struggle. The struggle is real, I'm telling you. So, yeah. So far, so good. And I don't know if I showed you guys. I got the, this Kiondo from Kenya as well. Yeah, just from the local markets there. And I love, love. I love it. I love the color, you know, the fuchsia and the cream and the beige. Is it the beige? I don't know what color is this. So. Yeah, of course, you all are not ready for this top. My tailor, she outdid herself. Okay. Tell me I am lying. Just tell me I am lying. Tell me I am lying. Just look at this top. Look at this top. Look at the details. Look at the details. Look what my tailor did. Just see what my tailor did. 
Look at the details. Tell me you don't like this top. Oh my god, I think this is one of my favorites. I am so in love. I don't even know the reason why I didn't get two, three, or even five tops of this design. And like I said, Pinterest. I got the design from Pinterest and I just told my tailor this is exactly what I need. And you can tell she delivered. She did so good. She did so good. And it's just a local tailor. It's not even like they charged an arm and a leg. I think this one was not even more than $20 to be honest. I'm not even kidding. It wasn't. It wasn't even more than $30. I'm not even lying. Plus the material and everything. And this is what she did. Just go online and try to purchase such a top. You're gonna buy, it's gonna be more than $50 or even $60. But yeah, this is what she did. And I am so happy. I am content. And of course with jeans from Kenya as well. And of course my skin. You can see my skin is shining. Like a diamond. This Vaseline. I got this Vaseline from Kenya. And I, and I think you can get this online. But you can get this in Australia. I don't know. I don't know wherever you are. Whether you can get this Vaseline. Vaseline oil. Cocoa butter. Cocoa radiant. Body oil. Body oil. I don't know if you can get this in Australia. But I've looked around in all the shops. I couldn't get this Vaseline. There was a time I was even contemplating buying this Vaseline online. But you know sometimes they're not the same. Like this one is made from Kenya by Vaseline in Kenya. Can you see the skin? Can you see the skin? Can you see the skin? Vaseline. I'm not gonna lie. I love myself so, so much. I'm obsessed with myself. I'm not kidding. And if I find something nice, something that works well for my body, I'm getting it. That's the reason why I work so hard. That's the reason why I'm gonna be gone to the bush for one month or whatever. So. Why should I not love myself? So that is it. Anyway, I think I didn't have to wear all the things that I brought from Kenya for you guys because some of them are just no more items, no more outfits and all that kind of stuff. But I thought because these are just unique pieces that are they are so what can I say? They're so African, you know, like they bring out the African in me or the Kenyan in me. So that's the reason why I stayed. I'm gonna wear this. For oh, the camera, I'm telling you, even the camera is not doing justice to this dress. It's so, so beautiful and I am, I am obsessed. Yes, I got it from Kenya. My tailor delivered. You know what? I just gave her the inspiration from Pinterest. Because if you didn't know, all the girls are using Pinterest nowadays, just in case you didn't know. And she did it. She delivered. She delivered, I'm telling you. The camera is not even doing justice to this dress, I'm telling you. Because I can see myself on the on the other side of the camera. She delivered. I'm, I, I'm in love. I love this dress. This dress is so beautiful, you know. So in case you want to invite me somewhere, I am ready. This is the dress that I'm going to be wearing. And I'm loving African fabric at this point in my life. I don't know why. And I am obsessed with this dress. And I don't even know the reason why I got only one dress, to be honest. I should have gotten two, three, or even five. Who cares? Who cares? <laughs> Just do whatever you want to do. Yeah, so this is it. It's not, as, it's not long, actually. It's kind of kneeling. And this is how it looks on the back. And you can see the details. And I kinda I kinda love the difference in textures with the two materials she uses, the shea and the African fabric. And I am obsessed. You know, I'm just gonna wear my little white sneakers or you know high heels depending on where I'm gonna be going. So yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready to go somewhere. So invite me somewhere anyway i'm just kidding so do we love the dress or do we not tell me in the comment section below 
If you don't love the dress, you're a hater. No, I am joking. <laughs> I am joking to be honest. Maybe this is not your style, but... And the color is just perfect. It's just perfect for my skin. So yeah, I'm happy. Now that I'm here, I might as well show you what I got for my, you know, just for my kitchen, for cooking. I got Royco. Oh my God, I brought so much Royco with me because I just wanna, when I'm eating my food, I just wanna be reminded that I'm Kenyan and I love being a Kenyan, that I'm African and I love being an African. I'm so proud of being an African. And don't get me wrong, I'm also so proud being an Australian African. Oh, Kenyan Australia, is that how we're supposed to, to say? I don't even know, to be honest. But you know, I'm Kenyan. So, you know what? what? Sometimes I buy this uh, Royco from African shop, but it doesn't taste the same. It does not taste the same like the Royco in Kenya. Because you know what? These African countries and maybe other African countries, they have Royco. And sometimes the African shop, they, they stock Royco from, I don't know, from Tanzania, from Zimbabwe or from any other African country. And it does not taste the same. So this is Kenyan Royco. I had to bring lots. Like, like are you kidding me? Like, are you joking? Like, are you joking? Yeah. And also, my brother gave me this honey. He, he told me it's original Kenyan honey. So, and I, the only thing I regret not bringing is um, Kenyan tea, to be honest. Oh, Kenyan coffee, to be honest. How did I forget? I don't know. I don't know how I forgot to bring Kenyan tea because we all know Kenyan tea is the best. I'm not even being biased because I'm Kenyan. But yeah, Kenyan tea is the best. And of course, I... Oh! <laughs> On a, of course, I came with... Um, I brought so much Vaseline with me because I'm kind of used to using... That doesn't mean that there's no Vaseline in Australia, but I'm kind of used to... Uh, you know, applying Kenyan Vaseline on my skin. So I have so much Vaseline. This is just one sample. And then I brought African Shea Butter. Hmm? No, but it's, I'm not getting ashy this 2024. African Shea Butter. Maybe I should sit now to be honest. African Shea Butter. It doesn't smell so good, but I know it's gonna do my skin justice, you know. I told you guys, I love myself. It's, if I like if I like something for my skin, I'm buying it. I'm buying it to be honest. I'm not gonna be working so hard and denying myself little things like skin oils, you know, moisturizer and all, all that kind of stuff. I'm just gonna love myself. And then I got this nice and lovely oil. You know what, nice and lovely, they have such great products. Really, really great products. I've seen so many good reviews of nice and lovely products. But it just came with one more. I just came with one. Only this one, to be honest. I don't know why I didn't bring so much. But only, you know, there's only so much you can bring on your luggage. Cocoa butter. I love, love, love cocoa butter. I love African butters, to be honest. I love, love, love African butter. Cocoa butters. Cocoa butter, American dream. Cocoa butters. Well, I don't know. I think I love cocoa butters. No, I love body butters. African body butters. And this smells so good. I think you can buy this online, to be honest. But my skin has been loving this. And it smells so good. I can't even open it because my hands are greasy. Of course, I came with violin. This is just a sample. I have a lot of violin that I brought with me. As you can see, I'm so obsessed with skincare, self-love. This 2024, I'm just going to love on myself. That's all I'm going to do, to be honest. I'm going to work hard because bills have to be paid at the end of the day. 
Someone has to pay the bills and I'm the only one. I'm the one who's gonna be paying the bills and I'm just gonna be loving myself so much. So I think I've shown you guys everything that I brought from Kenya. I think I've showed you everything and nice and lovely. You cannot get ashy if you live in my house because there are moisturizers, vaselines, body butters, oils all over the place. Maybe it's an obsession. I don't even know. Yeah. I think I've showed you guys everything that I brought from Kenya, to be honest. I think I have. Yeah, so... I'm happy. I'm ready. My holiday was good. I had such a beautiful holiday, you know, spending time with my family. Oh, it was a dream. That was like a dream. And now I'm just going to go back to work. I'm going to be working so hard. Not really so hard. And I'll see you guys in a moment. Hey, so it's the next day uh, today. Yesterday I didn't even finish vlogging because I had to go to um, to do drug and alcohol test because I'm going to work tomorrow and also my friend came over so I just didn't uh, vlog and also I had um, what do you call it I had um, house inspection this morning so that's that's why my house is looking spotless spotless clean it super super clean because you know the real estate agent was just here yes now and also and also i'm here trying to edit a video that i want the video to go live tomorrow this is where we are with my laptop i want to do a bit of editing oh then the project yeah look mombasa vlog yeah so that is what i want to do and also I have to get ready for work tomorrow. Tomorrow is Saturday. So I'm gonna be flying out tomorrow, oh my God. But I'm not gonna complain. I'm not gonna complain at all. Yeah, that is what is happening now. And uh, I'm just gonna make breakfast. Did I show you guys everything that I brought from Kenya? I think I did. And if I didn't, let's see. I feel like I did. I feel like I did show you guys everything. I feel like I did. Actually, I came with a with a lot of a couple of. I think I did. I'm gonna let me see whether. Let me see whether I can show you some of the things that maybe I missed. But I feel like I did show you everything. Let's see. And of course, this is one of the top I showed you guys yesterday. I just came from uh, grocery. Uh, I just came from grocery shopping, and one of the lady told me, "Oh, I love your top. The colors are so beautiful." And I'm like, "It's from Kenya. I just got it from Kenya. So this is Kitenge. I think this is Kitenge. It's so 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 beautiful. And it has a zip, as you can see. Zip." then it has this big i don't know whether you call what you call it the big arms yeah and uh, i think i think what i did show you guys and also forgot to show to tell you guys that i did my eyebrows as well i don't know how they're calling it now i think it's micro braiding micro braiding or something so i did my brows in kenya so I think they're they're semi permanent. Uh, probably they, I'm I'm gonna have them. I don't know for a couple of years, and I can always uh, retouch them or just go back to not having eyebrows. And um, so I was gonna show you the the dresses that I came with. Oh, I don't know why I wouldn't even bring my. I think th these are the only dresses that I didn't show you guys. I got a couple of dresses I got from Kenya. A couple of dresses I got from Kenya. And what else? I think that's it. And I can't I can't wait to slay on all my uh, on all the items that I bought from Kenya. And so you yeah, those all the things that I brought from Kenya. And of course I brought um a couple of cages. 
on me but i'm not complaining because you know i was just eating and eating so this is the top and i got these jeans from kenya as well and this is the top and that's how it looks yeah because like i told you yesterday if you curvy if you curvy and you, you live in australia of course you know the struggle you know the struggle you really do know the struggle finding um finding a part not, not necessarily a perfect jeans but just finding jeans or pants it's a struggle if you're curvy and you live in australia another struggle i always have but anyway not anymore because i have a couple of jeans here and there from kenya and i am super super do happy but then again i'm going to work tomorrow and i have to finish editing that video because i want that video to go live next week not tomorrow like i said i want that video to go live next week so i'm hoping i'm gonna finish editing the video but you know let's see you know what my house is super clean <laughs> because like i said i had house inspection but that everything is just in order everything the bathroom everything is so 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 clean. It feels it feels like I have a shop there. <laughs> so yeah, so let's make um I'm gonna make uh, breakfast. I'm gonna cook some eggs and then I'm gonna edit and then I'm gonna get ready for work and I'll see you in a minute. like i just want to have eggs i want to eat eggs so i want to put some eggs you know being an adult is so hard i don't know if i should say that i don't know if I was given an option, maybe I wouldn't go to work to be honest. I would just stay home. But someone has to pay the bills. Someone has to pay the bills. I don't have anyone to pay my bills, so I guess I'll have to go to work. I bet I'll have to go, I have to go to work. Especially because I just came from holiday, you know? It's just olive oil. Olive oil. Yes, so... And I don't know, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. I'm not, but you know... But sometimes it's okay to feel that way, you know. <laughs> like you just wanna stay home and watch Netflix and not go to work. <laughs> oh my god. Oh he's gonna pay the bills. <laughs> And also I have to go to go to work and because we all have the money. I love the money myself by the way, so I pray one day that I'm gonna be so committed to doing uh, YouTube and all just making content and then I'm gonna be making a living out of making content because I'm not doing this to be honest. As much as I don't show up on YouTube all the times because of of, I don't know. I don't even know. Sometimes I'm just busy. Like now I'm gonna be so busy with work. So, but yeah, I'm also happy because as much as I'm I'm complaining. One year ago I wasn't where I am today. I didn't even. Did I have this job? I 
No, I didn't have this job actually. I was working in the mines, but I didn't have this job, so. So that also is a plus, you know. I haven't been working for the last three months yeah almost more than three months maybe that's the reason why I kind of feel um what do I feel and you're gonna eat bread yeah I kind of feel like I need to rest you know when you come from holiday and you need a holiday or you need a break I feel like I just came back and then now I'm going to work, which is okay because I need the money. I'm not kidding. I do need the money. But then again, I feel like I should have stayed for like, I don't know, another two weeks. But I shouldn't. I've been, I've been out of work. I haven't been working for the last more than three months. So I need to go back to work. I really do need to go back to work. Seriously, I need to go back to work. So, so, let me stop complaining. Let me stop complaining. I need to finish editing the video. I need to edit that video after. It's already edited. I'm just gonna do a bit bit here and there. And then I need to get ready for work. Because I don't even know where my uniform is to be honest. I don't even know whether my uniform is gonna fit me, but I hope hopefully it will. Because I like I told you I've been eating a lot back home, so the breakfast is ready. And when I say breakfast is a uh, mid-morning breakfast, because it's um could be eleven now, could be eleven a.m. I'm gonna do a bit of editing. You can see my computer is already there. to finish I get to finish this video and what's the time now it's 19 minutes past past 11 so I'm hoping to finish here by 2 and I'm, I'm waiting for my company to send me the flight details so that I know what time is going it's gonna be my flight tomorrow I'm hoping it's gonna be in the afternoon or at 12 because I really really don't want to wake up in the very early in the morning to cut to cut a flight to be honest but anyway that is what is happening i'm gonna do a bit of editing and then i'm probably gonna see you later